Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Lynx. Lynx makes unique, high-quality TTRPG accessories, and today we're going to be looking at their new Skull and Bone dice. These dice come in two different colors and would be perfect for a Death Domain Cleric or Necromancer. This dice set includes a D4 all the way up to a D20, just like a normal dice set, but with unique bone shapes. You can snag a set for yourself using the link on my website. Let's get started with our Roll for Bread. Three, wheat bread. Ah, wheat bread, yes, the Daniel Baldwin of bread. Next up, let's roll main. Four, grilled chicken. Okay, I've got some leftover grilled chicken cut into strips and put onto our sandwich. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Ah, one, Limburger spread. Limburger is a very stinky cheese named for the province of Limburg in Belgium. It smells like feet because it's made with the same bacteria that makes your feet smell like feet. Next up, let's roll for roughage. Two celery and three shredded lettuce. All right, well, we've got some celery. Pretty boring vegetable in my opinion. It's mostly just crunchy. Not gonna do a lot to distract from the Limburger. Nor will the shredded lettuce. So there's that. Not the best roughage rolls we could have hoped for in this situation. Next up, let's hit it with a little chaos with the wild magic roll. 10 sliced almonds. All right, this isn't a terrible roll. These will add a nice crunch and them being sliced rather than whole almonds will make it a nice crunch and not too much. They'll add a little bit of a nutty flavor, but I don't think it'll be enough to help. And last but not least, we've got the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. Four, bad kitty. Uh, I knew this roll would come eventually. I don't know what you expected, but that's what it is. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's get it snapped in half. There we go. And let's take a look at that cross section. It's a sandwich. Doesn't look too bad. Well, we rolled very tame ingredients and a gnarly cheese. So let's see how it tastes. Well, I can tell you it's better than I expected it to be. There's enough going on on top of the Limburger where it's not super intense. It's still somehow incredibly dry, even though I sprayed it with six squirts of water. The almonds are nice. I think I'm gonna try those on a different sandwich. But all in all, I don't really think this sandwich is worth repeating, but it definitely could have been worse. I think I'm gonna go ahead today and give this one a 4.3, and I'm gonna name this one the Smelly Cat. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again on Friday.